Hey, what is up? This is your boy Kane Frost, and today's topic is gonna be about game and how do you use it to women, right? All right, so game is all about having a strategy to what you want to get when you are interacting with a woman, right? So more of the times than night, you'll see a pretty looking girl and a lot of things probably run across your mind is like, you know, is she, is she single? You know, is she married? Does she have a boyfriend? You know, all this other kind of stuff. And, you know, should you approach her? You know, and if you do, does she have a wedding ring on? A wedding ring on and all this stuff. Um, so those are the things that you kind of look at, right? Those are just the physical appearance stuff. Game hasn't even started yet. Game only starts once you start the interaction. You get the courage, you know, the anxiety, put all that stuff aside. You know, maybe you've already talked to a few women. You see this girl, you're walking up to her, and you're going to, you know, say your, your open liner, you know, offer your name, get her name, and then that's when the game begins. And as soon as she talks to you, uh, you're going to instantly find out where she's at, you know, um, if she's interested or not. Um, if she does have a boyfriend, you're going to see some. Maybe she does have a ring on. Maybe she's married. You know, a lot of things like that. Then it's on to the next person. But once she interacts with you and now you guys are just talking back and forth. All right. Now is when the game begins. Now is when, you know, you're going to either be on some friendly stuff and you're not going to push anything further you know on to her you're going to be playing it safe and you know you're going to be all you know basically putting yourself in the friend zone by just coming off and just saying uh some some stuff that's not really getting to the point that you want to hook up with this girl you want to you know go spend some dates with her or tell her to come to your house or all this stuff uh, of you know where are you trying to take it to that's where the game begins so you know, uh, a lot of guys will play it safe and they'll talk about normal stuff that every other person can talk to her about, like like um, the place where she's at, a worker can come up because they don't want to get fired, right? They don't want to lose their job, so they're just going to come up with some friendly stuff. If she says, hey, you know, where can I find this? They're going to be like, oh, that's over here on this aisle or it's over there, whatever it is. But they can't come off and be flirtatious with her, you know, without getting reported and all that stuff. Um, but I, as you as a guy, you don't work there, so you can go a little bit further than what a worker will say. And, but the problem is, is a lot of guys, they'll just say normal stuff like they work there, and they won't get to the point. And a girl is going to see that, and by what she sees within that first minute, that you're coming off of some friendly stuff, you're not getting to the point, she's going to actually excuse herself and keep going about her day. And that's where you mess up. You see what I'm saying? So if you want to, uh, you know, ask her out on dates or tell her to hook up, you know, what is she doing later, you know, move it fast, then she's going to see, okay, this guy is trying to move in this direction. Hey, she might still go, but at least... You know, you weren't coming off on this friendly stuff. Now you're coming off like you want to see her outside of that place. Again, if the girl's really feeling you, you know, she's going to be like flirtatious back. Like, you know, you're sitting there saying, hey, how's it going? She's, you know, automatically with the tone, like, hey, how are you? You know, by that, she's like, hey, you know, I like what I see too, you know. And you should be able to pick up on that. You cannot go into some friendly stuff because if you do like i said she's going to sense that and go man this guy has no idea what he's, he's even doing and she's gonna be like oh that's cool all right well i gotta go you know I'm gonna, i gotta finish this and stuff like that and by that time you already ruined it i mean because you can still get the number but it's more likely she's not going to return any of your messages i mean that's she'll say it just to get rid of you give you the number but anything past that you're you're just you're going to get ghosted because she already knew within that first couple of seconds of where you are and how long it's going to take you even if you go out on dates how long it's going to take you 
to get where she wants to get, you know, sexually. And she already senses that you're already tiptoeing around and all that stuff. Um, and she ain't feeling it. And once that vibe leaves, it's gone. Now, maybe, maybe if she's, you know, this good chick, you know, um, you know, church girl, maybe, you know, she's like, oh, she's shy, you know, oh, I got to move. I got I don't want to stay in here and just, you know, have this conversation in the middle of the store or wherever. Maybe um, you can hit her up and get that going later. But for the most part, most of these girls are going to know that where you're coming off of right off the bat and they're going to keep moving. So it's your job as a guy. You already broke the ice. You already came out and said hi to her. It's your job to figure out where, what you want to do and how fast you want to make it happen. And that's where the game kicks in. The game kicks in with your swag, the tone of your voice, you know, how you're talking to her, how you're approaching her. All this stuff matters, you know. You come in and they're confident, you know, with your, with your chest up, you know, just talking to her. That's cool, you know. If you just, you know, all hunched over, you know, like, excuse me, hi, how's it going? You know, there's no confidence. You know, you got to stand up, you know, walk straight and, and have a swag to you and have a confidence in your voice. But once you talk to them, you got to let them know that you've been there many times and it's a take it or leave it attitude. Either they're going to like you for who you are and what you're trying to take it to or they're not. And it's that easy. And if they don't, listen, you cannot take a rejection personally. They do not know you personally. They don't know, you know, where you live, you know, how you grew up, your education, you know, all that stuff. What do you do for a living? They know nothing other than the way you look at that moment and how you talk and if they want to deal with you. So if you come up to a girl, you see her in the store or whatever, you walk up and you just say, you know, hey, how's it going? How are you? You know, I'm Kane. It's nice to meet you. What's your name again? You know, and it's, oh, you know, so-and-so. Listen, you can, whatever it is, like I always talked about this in the book, wherever the, you're at, you can say something that is in reference to where she's doing, whatever she's, it could be at, at Home Depot, and she could be looking at knobs, you know, on for a cabinet or something, and you can just sit there and say, man, I, you know, I don't know, I was, I was thinking about getting these right here, but I got like, you know, dark, like I said, you're just making this stuff on the fly, I got dark wood, you know, and I don't know if, you know, it's going to match with the birch and stuff like that. What do you think about that? You think that'll match? You know, she goes, oh, whatever. It, you just some, it's just an icebreaker. It's just an icebreaker. You don't want to come off like, hey, what's up? You're looking cute, looking pretty hot. You know, how can I get your number? That's going to come off like you're a sleaze dude, you know, and it, it, if they say anything to you, it's going to, it's going to, they're going to feel like they're too easy and all this other stuff. It's never going to work out. Break the ice. You know, with something, an easy conversation starter. As soon as you break that ice, then you can bring it back to her, right? So you say something like that, you know, oh, it's, you know, whatever, look at these knobs. I like the, I don't know about the silver or the bronze, you know, I don't know. Uh, what do you think about that? She, oh, well, I kind of, even if she says, I don't even know, who cares? That was just an icebreaker. Go, oh, I mean, you can just say something about her hair, like either it's long or it's short or it has a certain color. It doesn't matter. If a girl likes you, she's going to talk to you because of, of the who you are and how you present yourself. She doesn't like you, she's going to let you know right off the bat. So if she likes you, if you sit there and say, hey, look, uh, uh, whatever, uh, bring it back to her. You know, oh, man, that's, that's a really pretty color hairstyle you got right there. I like the way you have the highlights and stuff like that. Anything, you know, man, you got long. Not too many girls have long hair these days, even though everybody does, right? You're just saying something to bring it back to her. And then as soon as you bring it back to her, you're going to you're gonna see her, her reaction. How is she liking that? Is she engaging back with you? You know, and then that's how you're moving it towards something. You're moving it towards like, oh, hey, because they know. As soon as you walk up, they know that what you're trying to get, you know. But it's the whole idea is to be subtle about the situation, to be smooth. You know, and, and and you being smooth is them going to be like, this is a cool guy. I want to get to know him. Right. So you say something like that and then you check the, the, the vibe off her, you know, and see if she's how she's interacting. And then, you know, you can bring it back to her again. Like that. she goes, oh, yeah, you know, thanks about my hair or whatever. And go, wow, like, you know, I better be really cool, you know, to, uh, 
you know, hang out with you for today. You know, uh, anything. Like I say, this just it's just something thing on the top of my head. You can say anything, and when the girl, you know, again, she's gonna look at you and smile or whatever, and then that's when you gotta make your move. You gotta go in for. It. You can't talk about normal stuff. You can't sit there and say, you know, like like if you're a worker, you know, you can't go on about the damn cabinets or the knobs or whatever. You can't be like, you know, oh yeah, well, yeah, I was thinking about that, you know. I don't know about the knobs. I was thinking about this, you know. Who knows? Because like I said, within that third, she's like, oh, "Well, I hope you find what you're looking for." You know, she's gonna say something like that. But if you if you boom boom boom, quick, quick interaction. You got to think of in this head within a one or you know, like I said, you're going boom boom within two minutes, you should already be in in the because any dead silence within that. Two, trust me, when you're in a conversation like that in under two minutes. Even 10 seconds is a long time with not talking. And then everybody's like, that's kind of awkward. So you got to find out within two minutes of just interaction real fast. And then, you know, get the number. You know, you can get, it, you know, it depends on the girl. Sometimes she might not, you know, want to give out a number. Always have a, a card, a business card on you um, with your name and your number on it in case she doesn't want to give oh i don't know you know who knows maybe she had a bad breakup maybe she's with somebody right now but she's looking to replace that guy there can be all kinds of things happening um you can give her your number you know here's you know hey here's my number take my number down and give me a call sometime or you can give her a card hey look you know i really i really think that we can you know kick it off pretty good i got some pretty good place over here in mind you know you're just saying stuff like that just so you can get the interaction for her to call you and say here's my card you know give me a call whenever you're free um or you can sit there and say ask it for your number hey we know what's your number and she's always oh, right here uh, cool uh, you know hey i'll hit you up later on and then you know let's hang out sometime let's hang out this weekend or something you know i'll, I'll hit you up though you know we'll find out what, what your schedule's like you know something straight to the point within two minutes boom move on you know oh hey all right cool man well listen you know i gotta run i gotta get some stuff here and i gotta get out of here it's really nice to meet you, nice talking with you. I hit you up later. You can't sit there and stay and talk um, for a long time. It doesn't matter if you have a lot of interest in your mind. You just can't do that because doing that, you're gonna you're setting up uh, yourself for possibility of failure because you might say something now the longer you talk that she's not going to agree with and she's gonna say basically no in her mind or you're not gonna be able to get the numbers tonight she's like oh okay that's okay well thanks for you know whatever talking to me or whatever uh the longer you talk the, the greater chances you're gonna get to ruin everything um and also if you start there and talk for a long time now you're getting into the friendly stuff because you're not you're not sitting there talking for a long time about you know flirting and all that stuff you know because it's like you can't just sit there and bounce back and forth flirting for like 10 minutes you know like man wow you look great man you know those those that dress is really looking good on you you know you can't just do that for 10 minutes you know it's just that's overuse of game and the chick's gonna be like what the hell is going on you know what i'm saying so it has to be fast it has to you have to get the number whatever like i said she doesn't want her you give her your number get in some of the situation where you're exchanging information and then you move on the game is at that moment the interaction moment is to get the chick's information or you give her your information and move on that's it that's all it takes at the very beginning now there's other moments where the game still continues when you meet up with them right and you know then you meet up with them and you know what is she going to do is she going to play you and, and you got to go on a couple of dates uh, can you have sex at night is it going to be the next night can you get a kiss how all the stuff there's more game to follow but right now it's the opener it's the opening game of this situation get in and get out don't be sitting there talking for a long time i see these dudes all the time you know at the gym or whatever and they spark up conversation with some girl and then they're yakking right there for 10 minutes you know and, and just BSing about everything other than getting to the point, you know, I've done it, man, and it was just, it's stupid, you know, you're sitting there talking to a girl for a long, and man, this, some girls would like really, really, really like me, and they would even let me know, like, you know, come on, man, you know, like, move on, not like, they don't like me, move on, like, 
I feel you. I like you. Move on. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can do this later. You know, some girls, if I'm working out and I'm sweating and all that stuff, and girls would be like, so you're probably, like, getting cold right now, right? You know, like, because, you know, I'm just sitting there talking to them and all the sweat's drying up and the AC and all that stuff. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, that's my cue. And they're letting me know, like, dude, you know, I'm like, you know, let's meet up. You know, let's get out of this club thing where we're trying to work out and sweat and let's just do something outside of here you know so i see these dudes all the time and man i look at them like that's not going to work out you know if it does work out man i wouldn't even want to date that chick I've, I've seen those types of girls and usually man it's like ah they're really it's really boring you know the sex is boring and all this other stuff because they're mainly into all this other stuff you know of long term you know of of relationships and stuff like that man look if that's what you're seeking cool you know but i think at the very beginning you're just going to be ruining your chances those are very 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 rare where you have long talks and then the chick is feeling you and then you guys make it happen and all this stuff it's very very rare you know and usually these girls are really sheltered you know they stay at home a lot you know and they're happy to somebody talking to them and oh my god you know they're all interested in, into the conversation and all that stuff. Um, yeah, move on, man, because that same girl, you get the information. She, you can talk to her again, you know, when you're out on a date, not there or wherever you're at, at the mall or whatever. You just don't want to be wasting your time, especially at a club. Do not do that at a club, you know, because a lot of times these girls will have boyfriends, even though they won't say they have a boyfriend, but they're out and they want to, just see what's out there, putting a little toe in the water, just see what's out there, and then they'll be talking to you all night, you know, and then you give them information, and you call them the next day, and nothing ever happens, and then there you go. As you're talking to her, you've seen a couple of girls walk by, like, wow, that girl's hot, damn, that girl's hot, and they're looking at you, you know, oh, they're looking at you talking to this girl, because I know when they're looking at me talking to this girl, they're like, damn, why aren't you talking to me? I'm like, I'm talking to this girl right now, but give me a couple of minutes, you know, I'll be right over there, I promise. Mentally, you don't sit there and tell them right then and there, but mentally. Uh, and it, that, that situation like that, it works, and sometimes it doesn't. You know, sometimes, you know, uh, you can be talking to a girl and then go to another girl, and, like, you know, and they'll be like, oh, you're some sort of player, you know, or whatever, but a lot of girls usually like it, you know. But anyways, that's it, man. That's today's lesson is opening game how to do it and how fast you should be moving on and think of it like this right like a quarterback situation when a quarterback hikes the ball you know he's got seconds in his head on when he believes the uh defensive um are going to come that come going to come after him right he's got to have a mental clock in his head you know like eight seconds or ten seconds he drops back and he's thinking you know one two three, four, and he has to release it at a certain amount of time because the more he sits back there, the greater chances he's going to get blindsided and he's going to lose that football. All those quarterbacks have mental clocks in their head, pocket quarterbacks, the guys that scramble around, ah, whatever, you know, Wilson and, and Mahomes and all those guys, and that, they're, they're different. But I'm talking like Brady and all these other guys that stand in the pocket. They got mental clocks in their head. Either release it, or step up and release it, but you only got a certain amount of time. Think of it like that when you're talking to a girl. You got to think, there's a certain amount of time I got to get out of here. And if she wants to pull you in, oh my God, yeah, you know, I've been there and blah, blah, blah. You can easily fall into that situation. You got to cut it short. You got to. You know, you got to find a way that clock's kicking. All right, yeah, no, listen, I got to run. Man, I listen, here's my information. I'm going to call you later, all right? Or you call me if you give her your number. You know, I'm going to call you later, and then, yeah, we can talk about this way. So you get it, move on. Make it exciting and all that stuff. Don't sit there. The problem is you also, if you sit there for a long time, you can actually run out of things to say, and then it can lead to awkwardness and stuff like that, silence and whatnot. You know, you're not on a date. You're around, everybody's shopping or whatever's going on, and that's just not the right time, all right? So I hope you learned from it, man. And if you did... Hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. All right, man. That's it for right now. This is King Frost. And until the next time, man, rock on and peace.